Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're gonna make an open pour lure mold for soft plastic baits. And it's awesome. So, stick around. Hey guys, today we're gonna make an open pour lure mold for soft plastic baits. You can make bobby garlands with it, you can make swim baits with it, you can make worms with it. An open pour lure mold's the easiest mold you can make. And we're making ours out of silicone. You can make them out of all kind of materials, but I think silicone's the easiest to work with. And I think this is gonna be an awesome DIY. And speaking of DIYs, if you hadn't visited my channel page, Go over and check it out. I got a long list of DIYs that'll help you save some money, and I'm sure you'll find something you like. And if you do, click subscribe and click the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I post videos and you can watch them. Well, let's quit wasting time and let's get started on this. Okay, today we're making a mold. What I'm using, I got this high strength Alumalite 3. It's called Alumalite. Well, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It was $30, as you can see. But if you go on Google, you can Google Hobby Lobby coupons, and you can get a 40% coupon to use anytime you want. So you can basically get this stuff for like $16 or so. Well, we'll be dealing with that later. Right here, I got a piece of cedar. I'm gonna make the lure that I want. Just to have a piece of wood, it's gonna be a wooden lure. And we're gonna use that to make our mold to pour our soft plastic lure. The reason I picked cedar it's because it's soft. This is California cedar. You could do it out of pine or something else. This is gonna be a little bit harder. The first step, we're gonna to have to draw the profile of the lure we're gonna make on here, and then we're gonna cut it out with a bandsaw. <laughs> We cut our little fish out, now we got a little fishy. It's not done yet, it's not shaped like a lure. This is a side profile. Now we need the top profile. You see how it gets skinny at the back and then it gets skinnier again at the front? <laughs> top profile drawed on. We'll go back over to the bandsaw and cut it out. <music> Okay, now we got our side profile made and we got our top profile cut. Okay, now you see how fat it is? We need to make the belly a little bit skinner. So we're gonna do like a radius profile. I'll draw a line for this side, draw a line for this side to where we wanna cut it down to and we'll cut these corners. You need to draw those lines because you need it to be as close to the same on each side as you can get it. Because you want it to swim straight in the water.
got it worked down to a place where I think I can use it now. It's not perfect by any means, but it looks pretty good. I wanted something big that I could use for like striper fishing or something else, but you can do this with any type of soft plastic you have. For what we're doing, you need a flat top. Like this one has a flat top all the way down. The reason it's flat is because we're gonna glue it down to something and we want it to set flat and we're gonna put silicone around it and make our mold. And when we're done, the cavity will be open on the top. That's called an open pour. It's not a two piece mold, it's an open pour. So next I'm gonna have to build a box and glue this lure to the bottom of it. And then we'll mix up our Lumilite silicone and we'll pour our mold. <laughs> this plastic I've had a while and I've been saving it so I can use it for something all it is is plastic and it reminds you of cardboard I use super glue and I glued this on and you want it flush because it's an open pour mold I cut out my pieces for my sides I'm heating up a hot glue gun and that's how I'm gonna put my box together now I can make a box and just close this thing in. Okay, we got a little box built, ready to pour. There's a little crack down there, but I filled it up with hot glue so it won't leak out. This box is not that important. We're just needing it to hold our lure and pour our silicone in to make our mold. Okay, I'm getting ready to mix all this up. Got this ready. What's contained in one of these boxes, I've never used it before. Get 14 and a half ounces of base rubber, silicone rubber. It's just a base, it's clear, and without anything in it, it feels like a really thick oil. Then you get one and a half ounce of catalyst. The catalyst is what's gonna harden up the silicone. So once we mix it, it's ready to go. It says you have 45 minutes of work time and it takes 12 to 18 hours if the humidity and the heat's right. It's 48 hours to a full cure. The mix ratio is 10 to one by weight. So we got 14 and a half ounces of this. It's close to 15 ounces. We got 1.5 ounces of this. Well, I'm thinking I'm gonna need all of this to fill this up. I might have a little bit left over so I think I'm just gonna mix my catalyst right into my base here and stir it up. But it does come with two measuring cups and a little scoop, don't know why. I guess that's for mixing catalyst if you just wanna do a little bit at a time. Not sure what the scoop's for. <laughs> tried to vibrate some of those bubbles up because you're gonna get bubbles in anything you mix. And I sprung a couple little leaks, but it hadn't went down really, so I think it's gonna be all right. I'm hoping it works out. I hope I got all the bubbles out of it. We'll see when it's dry. Yeah, we had some leakage, but it turned out all right. It's all firmed up now. So now we just need to disassemble this thing. Oh, I broke my lure. I wanted to save that. But the mold looks awesome. Well, the mold turned out pretty dang good. I don't see where any air bubbles got in it, messed it up or anything. Now all we gotta do is pour our soft plastics in here and make them. Now we got our mold made. I got a buddy that pours lures old school style. He's really, really good at it. We're gonna go over to his house and we're gonna see how he does it. What's up, buddy? 
are you? Now we right didn't... here is the main thing to make and gauge. Advice? Is this. Some underwear? You got to have some underwear. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to do. I'm going to take a vein of sausage can. And I'm going to make it so I can pour out of it. I'm going to punch a hole in it. I'm going to put two pieces of lead in it. I like the poor zoom stuff. Seems like it does better than any. Melts better? It melts better. What I do is take a razor blade and cut it up in little pieces. But one pack of worms will approximately, that wasn't a full one, will approximately make a hundred jigs. A hundred? A hundred. And right here, I take a pair of vice grips. That's the reason I put that hole in my cup. So you got a disposable pouring can. What is yep. that? Vina? Vina? Vina, so, uh, Vina sausage. Okay. I've tried everything in the world. I I'm going to set it on that burner. You don't have to do nothing but stir it. Nothing right now till it gets a little hot then you, I'll have to stir it. Just keep a stir. What's the lid do? It was a scorching just like this. I put it in there I was scorching it. No matter where I turned my heat I was a scorching it. And he told me I had to have lead put in it. I put me two little pieces of lead and I ain't had no trouble since. That's like 20 some years ago. And you think the lead absorbs the excess heat? That's so what don't... he told me and evidently it worked. And I'll show you in a little bit, we talk about a microwave. Yeah, you used That's to use a microwave, The reason right? I can't use one, you'll see in the minute, when this gets hot, okay. you'll see why a microwave wouldn't do me no good. It's starting to melt a little see, bit now. It's starting to melt now. It's just a cheap way to make juice. Yeah. It's easy, too. Cause oh, yeah, it's a, easy. A microwave looks hard to make. Well, I had a microwave, and, and I just, it, it didn't take me but a day or so that I said, I don't need it. <laughs> looks like macaroni and cheese, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> This and monkey milk is my two favorite cup. Monkey milk. <laughs> monkey milk and chartreuse. I have all colors, but basically this is the two I throw. It's getting close to being ready to pour. And when I start to pour it, I'll turn the burner down a little. Plunge it down. Like I say, right here, the secret thing to make them bite. <laughs> you just got to be ready to plunge it when you get it up or, or it won't make a jig. So you got a relief hole in your mold, but you're pushing it down. Yes, yeah, push it down. See, right here's where I wouldn't want a microwave. It would done be cold. Yeah, but you're leaving yours on the burner, so. Leave mine on the burner, and you don't have to do nothing else to it. It's amazing how that stuff will cool up quick and won't burn. That is amazing. Yeah. Comparing them to Bobby Garland, what would you say? Well, I'd say my jig is 50% better than Bobby Garland. I know you use everything. You're good. You I've crack used fish all the time. I've used a lot of different jigs, but I ain't ever used one that I like like these. And you save everything just like you're pouring lids. Yep. Now, like this, I'll cut some new and put back in with it. And after you pour it a few times, then it's done for. After Ooh. you pour about three pours, this here will be thrown away. Now, if you're pouring black, you can just keep on a pour. And this will be a finished jig. Tell you've done a lot. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> but this is all you have to do to them. All right, right there lays a bunch of finished jigs. That is <laughs> awesome. Yep. You the man. All right, I'm going to give you these. You gonna give me them? Yeah. Well, I appreciate it.
I would use them. These are gonna outdo my black Bobby Collins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't know if you know this or not. Look on the on this thing. That's flat. Yeah. That side ain't flat. That thing is set in the water. It's hard to hold it to keep that thing from shaking. And that little bit of current in the water, that tail is just a moving. Okay, we went and seen how Glenn done it. And he used a burner. And I had to go buy me one. I bought a double burner. But you can get a single burner at Walmart for $12. This one was $20. But this was all they had. Alright, I got my vein of sausage can. I bent it so I could pour with it. I put a hole in it to pick it up with. I got me a couple pieces of lead to put in the bottom. And I got these old lures here. They're called watermelon seed. And you can tell how old they are by looking at the pack. I'm gonna recycle them. I think they're lizards or something. I don't know. And we got our lures. And now we got it on the burner and we're starting to heat it up. I don't have an old arrow like he does. I'm just going to try it with a popsicle stick for now and see what happens. Yeah, it's starting to melt now. I'm getting another can ready. While this one's cooling off, I'm gonna mix up some more color. You probably don't wanna use worms that add salt in them because you see how cloudy it is. I'm thinking the salt did that. We're gonna try another kind and find out. <music> You can reuse that lead because it doesn't hurt it a bit. You can just peel that plastic layer off, use it again. Well that lure mold turned out pretty dang sweet. And it's giving me a lot of ideas. If you like this video, click like. And if you're not subscribed, then what you waiting on? Hey guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next build.